this video, I'll go over the gram-negative facultative anaerobe Proteus Mirabilis. So Proteus is actually a Greek god of the sea. And he'll be a god in our video too, but with a slightly less majestic domain. Our Proteus will be the god of the public restroom. So let's start out by drawing the restroom. Notice we're using a lot of light reds because Proteus is gram-negative. And here's Proteus. We're making him half man and half octopus. And the reason we chose to make him an octopus is because when Proteus is plated, it's said to demonstrate swarming motility. So his swarming tentacles will remind you of Proteus's swarming motility. Next, we'll draw a helmet with the horns of the stag coming out of it. These stag horns are said to be the shape that the calculi or kidney stones take when they form within the renal pelvis. They could either simply write staghorn calculi or show you a picture, and you'll have to include Proteus in your differential. Proteus really has one job, and that's to keep his restroom clean. So we'll equip him with an ammonia spray bottle. This is because he's urease positive. Urease is really important to know for Proteus because it's what's responsible for its ability to form those staghorn calculi. Recall that urease produces ammonia and carbon dioxide from urea. When it does this, it creates an alkaline environment. This alkaline environment creates a perfect environment for the precipitation of struvite stones, which are composed of ammonia, magnesium, and phosphate. These stones are very problematic for patients because not only can they cause the pain and kidney damage, but they can also act as a nidus for Proteus to cause recurrent infections. So kidney stones are an important part of the clinical picture for Proteus. We'll have Proteus about to throw a stone at this unfortunate gentleman using the restroom. I guess Proteus is pretty serious about keeping his restroom clean. And although we did make it in the public restroom, so you should associate it with UTIs, this guy urinating in the stall will remind you that Proteus causes UTIs. A strange characteristic about Proteus is that it's said to have a fishy odor. So we'll have some fish strewn about the bathroom. I guess this could make sense. Before being demoted to bathroom god, Proteus was a sea god. Maybe he dragged the fish in with him. I don't know. Anyway, remember Proteus's fishy odor. Finally, let's go over treatment for Proteus infection. Proteus is susceptible to sulfonamides, so they'd be a good first-line treatment. We'll draw some broken, rotting, and smelly eggs here on the ground. The sulfur smell of the eggs is its link to sulfonamides. And this is a symbol we've used before in our no cardio video. And that's it for Proteus, our neurotic, smelly bathroom god.